Software Spring Presence How to use data validation feature in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the data validation feature. Here is an intro to data validation. Data validation validates data typed in a cell, based on the criterion set by the user. Data validation has one of three outcome. Accept input. Display warning. Or, reject input. Alright, here is an objective of using the data validation feature. To create a data entry rule, one each for columns A to E, and reject invalid input, or show a warning. Here are the common steps, which apply to all these cells. Click cell, or select range, for which to apply criterion. Click data, and select data validation. Click criteria field. For name, the rule should allow only text. So, we will enter a custom formula, which checks whether data entered is text. Select custom formula is. A function we can use is, is text. Type equal to, is text, and the opening parenthesis. Type the address of the first cell of the range. Type the closing parenthesis, and click outside the field. For on invalid data, click the reject input radio button. For appearance, click the checkbox, to display a custom message when invalid input is entered. Click this field, select all the text, and type your message, and deselect. Click Save. Deselect the range. Type a name, and press Enter. Now, type a number in this cell, and press Enter. Google Sheets has rejected the input, and has displayed the message. For member ID, let's create a criterion, to accept only numbers, between 1000, and 9099. Let's go through the common steps. Select number. Type the starting and ending values, in these fields respectively. For this state of validation, we will use, show warning. Click save. Enter a valid input, and press enter. Enter an invalid input, and press enter. This is the error indicator. Move the cursor over the cell with invalid data. This is the warning message. Let me type a valid data again. For membership type, let's create a drop-down list, with three items. Let's carry out the common steps. Select list of items. Assume the three membership types are, regular, silver, and gold. Type the items here, and deselect. Complete the other steps. Click this cell, then this down arrow, and select an item.
enter an invalid input, and press enter. For workshop registration dates, let's create a criterion to accept only dates. Here are the common steps. Select date. Since we want a valid date to be entered, we will leave this condition, as is. Complete the other steps. Now, let's test with valid, and invalid inputs. For registered for workshop, let's create a drop-down list. The items for the list will be the items in this range. Complete the common steps one last time. The criteria field has list from a range, as the default. Since we want the criterion to be also list from a range, we will leave this setting as is. To select the range, First click this icon. Click the first cell of the range, and shift click the last cell. Click OK. Click Save. Click this cell, and select an item from the list. If you want to remove data validation from a cell or a range, first follow the first two common steps. Click Remove Validation. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.